Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Aki Mishu, Brother Hayakani. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Okokwadash, Bavarkadum. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth. And salutations out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are putting in his work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I want to say Shalom, okay? Hey, I'm just in Revelations. All right, we're going to read chapter 5 and 7. Five and seven, just going into the book of the Lamb and the sealing of the elect. Okay, so we can start at uh, Revelation chapter five and let's go at one. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice who was worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof. And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, had prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I behold, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb, as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which of the seven spirits of Yahweh sent forth into all the earth. And that lamb is Yahweh Shai. Okay. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb. Those were the uh, those twenty elders are the angels. Having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the praying of saints. Okay, so they, they bowing down to Yahweh Shai. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to Yahweh by the blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. All right, and that new song they singing is this, this, this truth that we're talking about, about the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Are about us being the Israelites, okay, about Yahweh Shai coming back for the elect, about the elect being delivered and, and being saved and being beaten up in chariots, okay? New just meaning refreshed, all right? It's always been there, but now it has been refreshed into the minds of the prophets and being now uh, uh, brought out to the whole world, all right? And has made us into our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth, and I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beast and the elders. And the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. Saying with a loud voice, worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessings. And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them heard I saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. You know, talking about Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever. And that's Yahweh Shai. All right, being worshipped again by those angels, man. All right, that's how, that's, that's how you know, uh, powerful and glory they are. Okay, feel, you know, the elders. But you see, this, that's the thing. We're living out here in the third dimension, but in the fourth dimension, what reigns above us in the heavens, all right, there's, nothing's going off. Everything's on one accord. Everything is perfect up there. Okay, there's, you don't got no angels and, and nobody coming up against the Lord, like doing, doing, committing adultery and committing sins. All right, they're, they're on one accord up there with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, it's only down here in this third realm, this fleshly realm, where people uh, have, have disregarded uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and, and gone off and have served false idols and false gods and stuff like that. All right. All right, the sealing of Yahweh's servants. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. That's talking about the elect. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed at 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. And there you have it. At 144k, 
All right, that's only from the tribes of Israel, the children of Israel, which you do so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, and then it goes into the different tribes. And this is how you know it's a cut to use Christians out here, to use people that believe everybody can be safe. Okay, that's not true because if there's only 12 gates in heaven and those 12 gates are for the 12 tribes of Israel, well, where are these other nations getting, getting in at? Because there's 18 nations and Israel being one nation with 12 tribes, where are these other nations getting in at if there's 12 gates for the 12 uh, uh, children of Israel, 12 tribes of Israel? That's how you know they, they, where they're getting in at. They can't. And you're going to have angels at them gates making sure that only the Israelites are getting in. These heathens ain't back to sneak past no damn angel. All right? It just goes into all the tribes, Judah, Asher, Simeon, uh, uh, Zebulon, Uh, and, and, and tribe of Benjamin and all that type of it goes into the 12 tribes. Okay. After this, I behold and lo, a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our power which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood around about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worshiped Yahweh Shai. Okay. So the elders are the angels. All right. I'm pretty sure the angels stood around about the throne. Those angels, I'm pretty sure, is talking about the elect. Okay. Because now the elect is worshiping Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, 144,000. Okay, saying amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our power forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, what are these which are arrayed in white robes and whence came they? And I said unto him, sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, these are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the lamb. That's talking about the elect, the ones that basically overcame the world, man. I and stood stiffly in a name for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says it overcame great tribulation, came out of great tribulation. Okay? Therefore they before the throne of Yahweh and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them, and they shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. For the land which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them. And shall lead them unto living fountains of water. And Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. That's talking about the elect really being delivered. Okay, the elect. The elect. That's what this truth is really about. Is, the, is for the elect. All right, for Yahweh Shai coming back to redeem his people. To redeem his elect first and foremost. Okay, and that's why we try so hard to, you know, be sincere. And to, to, to gain this knowledge. And to preach this truth. And to... Uh, spread this gospel into the lost sheep of the house of Israel because we're ultimately fishing for the elect, for the elect to be woken up. All right. And, you know, we know that the elect isn't all just brothers that are prophets, but, you know, it's, it's, it's many different. The book goes into many different talents of the elect. All right. You don't have to be a, a prophet to be of the elect. All right. But um, that's really what we're trying to do. And we're you know, making these videos, we're trying to be edifying, we're trying to be uplifting, we're trying to be, you know, inspirational, motivational, okay, to, to the elect so they can understand this truth and wake up and learn and, you know, uh, speed the times up so we can get the hell up out of this uh, captivity in Babylon, man, all right? So with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Kokwadash, Barak Adam, double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth. And citations out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are putting his work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I want to say, Shalom.